Cleaning up the remnants of an explosion that rocked advanced mobile fleet services Wednesday will happen cinder block by cinder block. That building is rubble now. Barry Gratch works a couple buildings away at an aviation inspection company. He was in a room filled with a loud sound of compressed air when he realized something bad happened. It's about 140 decibels in the room, so I wear ear earmuffs. And then all of a sudden? And just this gigantic boom and then shook the whole room. Doors are rattling. I come running out and everybody just... And I, we look around, we couldn't see anything. It sounded like a semi-truck had hit our building. We've talked to some of the other businesses, and uh, we've got many accounts of how they felt it in their bodies through various types of hearing protection. Cincinnati Fire Captain Elton Britton says work is underway to figure out what caused so much damage. They're in the process of actually pulling the building apart so that the investigators can get to the center of the building where they believe the incident occurred and go from there on trying to get a conclusion. While the search for answers continues, both Britton and Gratch are grateful the building gave way after workers were done for the day. I always drive by and see people coming and going, so I know they have a very lot of workers. Sometimes things just fall the right way, and by it happening after work hours, it did. But we were talking about how many employees that this business has gained over the years, a lot of families could have been very negatively affected. Now that fire captain I talked to calls this a well-run business. I, of course, asked if there had been any prior building code violations. That does not appear to, appear to be the case at this point, but of course the investigation is just getting started. Reporting live tonight in Bond Hill, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Todd